Hi there. Now, I think this part of the question is quite tricky, actually, but uh, it, we're asked to find the time then it takes to make two revolutions. And you can see that it turns out to be 720 divided by 30, which is 24 minutes. Now, what I've got here is a reasonably detailed explanation to how I would go about it. In the mark scheme, we've just got 720 divided by 30. But when I was doing it, I felt that uh, it certainly wasn't very clear to me anyway how we would arrive at that result. So I'll just take you through the method that I employed. We had the formula for h. It was equal to this version down here. And so for two revolutions, I know that this angle in here had to go between, say, 0 degrees to two lots of 360 degrees, 720 degrees then. And so I said, well, OK, let's suppose that at some particular time, T1, it's at 0 degrees. So I substituted T equals T1 into here and equated it to 0. So I called that equation 1. And then there'll be another time then that it had completed two revolutions where it had turned 720 degrees. And I called that time T2. Substitute it back into this equation and equaled it to 720. Now, the time it takes to make two revolutions will be the difference between these two times. OK, T2 minus T1. And I can get that very easily by working out equation 2 minus equation 1. And pulling out 30 as a common factor between the t's, OK? So we've got 30, bracket, t2 minus t1, when I subtract here. The 16.699 and so on cancels out. And it just leaves me with 720 minus 0, which is 720. So I'm looking for t2 minus t1, so dividing both sides by 30, just leads me in to the answer, 24 minutes. OK? So that's my way of going about it, but uh, there might be other versions out there. All right? So I'll leave it up to you. But uh, I hope that gives you some understanding anyway. OK?